Good evening, folks. Um, obviously another very good day here now today. Um, yeah, beat to the sea, sixteen to one winner. Uh, well backed into six to one. I hope anyone that had a bet got on a good price. But um, yeah, whatever way you had a bet, if you, if you, if you stuck a few pound on the mall, you're gonna come out with a profit anyway. And um, look, I'm delighted. Kilbegan isn't really the best course for trying to pick winners. It's it's a very trappy affair most of the most of the time, and um, yeah, it was good to get a few, well, two winners anyway. Well, you might can count one with Malone Road, but uh, yeah, beat of the sea sixteen to one was a very very nice win. Moving on to Killarney now tomorrow. There's some very good racing going on, and uh, awful lot of these are going to be sharp prices here now, but um. Yeah, look at we're going to uh we're going to take the chance anyway and we're going to I suppose crack on with it. Uh first off, two fifteen, we're gonna go with Belfast Banter four to nine. Look at I could I suppose look for a neat way sort here, but really and truly there's none really at I suppose great prices. Um yeah, Belfast Banter, I really can't see anyone troubling it. The main danger would be one for Joe. But really and truly, it's only a minor danger, uh, in my personal opinion. Now, Char- Charles Burns is going great going this now at the minute, and look at he might have once stuck up his sleeve somewhere, but I really don't think he's going to come out on top here. This Belfast banter looks a very, very classy sort, and um, yeah, it should, I suppose, prove a bit of compensation for the plenty of times it hasn't, I suppose, gone on to do the business. But ground should be fine, track should be very 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 well capable um yeah look it's it, it should really be a very very easy winner now moving on to 250 we're going to go with wild cork wild way uh this is going to be the nap of the day currently trading around four to five look at it was five and a half lengths down to a1 in limerick if i'm not mistaken i think it was limerick i'm not 100 percent sure but um yeah, it was five and a half lengths down to A one. A one was the superstar last year. Uh she or it, whatever it is, I don't know, is it a Gelden or a, a Gelden or a mayor, but um yeah, A one was just absolutely unbelievable there last year and I, I presume it's gonna it's gonna go on to bigger and better things this year. But uh yeah, this that that five and a half length second uh should really be good enough to carry this West Cork Wildway over the line. I've had a look through. There's nothing even worth mentioning, say for each way value here. Uh, I think this horse should really go on and I suppose carry them on the West Cork Wildway. <laughs> but um, yeah, look at. I really, I really can't see this horse being better. It, 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 it ticks all the right boxes basically, and uh, I have more more confidence than most of I suppose napping this horse at four to five. Now three twenty five we're gonna go with my old my old lady uh four to one <sighs> I suppose it's hard really to I suppose figure out this race. This favourite looks to be a sort of a progressive sort, but the worry worrying thing is it's not really the best on on uh say worsening ground uh, really and truly, the only run it's got on any sort of soft ground or heavy ground, it pulled up like so. We don't really have anything to go by here. My old lady was a winner in Limerick over, I think, the same trip and uh, in heavy ground, and it was a very, very nice winner there that day as well. So, really and truly, at the end of the day, that farm should be good enough to, I suppose, get this horse over the line. Goes on all sorts of grounds. Um, and it's been in fairly decent form, without I suppose knocking down any doors or knocking, knocking down any shutters and windows or anything like that. But yeah, my old my old lady four to one is definitely a nice price. This is nice. It's a nicer price than the favorite here. Uh, now four o'clock. We're going with the next best of the day. Uh, Decor Irlandes going in at four to one. Really and truly. This William Wickham, yeah, it's in great form, but it's not a graded horse. Really, truly, it's not a graded horse. 
Uh, why it's nine to four favorite? I really don't know. Decor Ireland is a Group Two winning hurdler. Uh, very very impressive last year. It was a sort of a rags to riches story, which everyone in Ireland knows that they like all the racing community gets gets behind them, and uh, we'll be getting behind this one here again now today. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Noel Kelly is coming down with only this horse down to Killarney, uh, from the north of Ireland. So it's really traveling the the length and breadth of the country to come down here for this race. Uh, got a nice little shoe in in Galway over the festival. Uh, I think it was fourth that day, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, look at it. it's 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 a group horse in a hurdle in a handicap hurdle. Like really and truly, I cannot see this horse being bet. I think this is, horse is going to go away winning handily here now today. And with the help of God, it'll send the boys coming down from. I I think it's down their their uh their base, but it'll send them the whole journey home. Very very happy. Um now four four thirty five we're gonna go with an each way shout here. We're gonna go with Ben Rubin, uh currently trading around eight to one. Few people might know, say they know me personally, but I've always been very, very fond of this horse. Uh very, very nice looking potential sort of a horse. Uh really and really and truly it's this is what it's bred to do. This this horse is made for chasing. Uh I, I've been following it since day one, since his bumper debut. It was a very, very impressive debut. I think it was second at that day, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, ever since then, I've been following it. And you know, although it cost me a little bit of money to follow it, but it, I still absolutely love the way this horse runs, jumps, travels, everything else like that. Uh, looks to be really, really nice. Nice looking potential for this sort of race here. Uh, Rachel Blackmore is on board for, say... Henry de Bromhead's stable, as usual, nothing to I suppose, not nothing to write home about there. Uh, she's the stable number one jockey. Uh, really and truly, but yeah, made a very good debut for his um, its new connections. Uh, in the fourth, in fort, I can't even remember where the race was, but it was fort. Um, and look at. If it improves our air a bit, it should really feature here now today. It mightn't win, but I really fancy it to, I suppose, go on and run on for a place or run on into second or something like that. But um, don't be surprised if this horse, I suppose, causes a bit of a shock here now today. 5 of 5, we're not having a bet here. Galvin at 1 to 12 will win by 25 to 30 lengths. Should do anyway. I, I'm a big fan of wait and see, but... This Galvin, look at he's he's a he's a class above. Uh, he was favoured for the Galway Plate, and uh, he was aimed for the Galway Plate. Only it just didn't work out. I don't think he even ran for the Galway Plate, if I'm not mistaken. No, he didn't. Um, so look at he's going here today. He's surely in the form of his life if he was if he was going to go off favoured for the Galway Plate, and uh, yeah, look at one to twelve. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I, w- I wouldn't be advising anyone to have a bet in that race. Just sit back and watch a superstar do what he does best. Uh, 5.35. Smith's corner, 5-1. to one. This horse is in the form of his life. Uh, it looked like it was going to win with a bit in hand there Thursday at the Killar- Killarney Festival. Coming back here now again, uh, say for this race now on Saturday. Uh, look at I, I think there's nothing going to stop this horse. It really should win fairly comfortably without having to be overexerted too much, really, at the end of the day. Like I said, it won with an awful lot in hand. It won very impressively in the Galway Festival, and it's in the form of his life. Um, it's interesting to see Paddy Kennedy not taking the ride here today. I don't know why, but... I, I thought that when well, you kept it a bit, bit of a family affair with this sort of a race, but look at I'm not going to tell <laughs> I'm not going to tell Michael what, what way to train his horse or I'm not going to tell Paddy how to ride the meter. But uh yeah, look at Smith's corner really and truly should be way too good for this field down today. It's a very nice race, but I can't see it being bet, really and truly. Now six oh five, final race of the day, the bumper we're gonna go with we seek him here. Currently trading around eleven to eight. Look at, it's all going to fall down to the ground really at the end of the day. This Joseph O'Brien horse, it's a classy enough looking 
five year old and it's justified favouritism, but the problem is will it handle the ground? It didn't handle the ground the last two times and this is gonna be the, the worst ground it's ever run on. So what do you take out of that? Is he worth even money favoured? I really don't think so. I think this week seek him here will absolutely thrive on uh worse than the ground. Uh what I mean by worse than the ground is soft soft to heavy, heavy in places, whatever it is, any sort of heavy at all, like it's it's gonna be like that now tomorrow. It's that the south south of the country is absolutely been battered with rain and um yeah, I can't I can't see it even being close to good if I'm quite honest. But um yeah, look at we see Kim here won very, very comfortably in the Galway Festival in similar enough ground. The favourite needs to prove himself in this ground basically. And um yeah, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go with we see Kim here. 11 to 8. Obviously, it has, I suppose, an awful lot of things to come up against with the extra aid or the extra year and it it being a potentially a potential classy horse that the favourite he's coming up against, but will he do it on the ground? I really don't think so. And then, therefore, 11 to 8, it looks to be an absolute steal. But um, that's it for me. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, Hope you all are enjoying these tip videos and hope that whoever's getting on board is starting to turn a bit of profit now that we're starting to get slowly but surely back in form. Uh, <laughs> I know it was a costly thing to follow me over to more but we're slowly but surely starting to make make it right now. But uh, look, like I said, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much. Make sure to like, share and subscribe.